I hope you're all doing well. Today's vlog is super exciting. It's actually going to be filmed over the course of a full week. Um, this is only part one, but it's actually my boyfriend's birthday surprises. So my birth, my birthday, no, my boyfriend's birthday is a week today. So it's Monday today, and he's his birthday's next Monday. Um, we're still at home at the moment, but on Sunday we are going to London. But I've got things planned every single day. Even small little things, it's not like anything major, but he's just getting a few little things throughout the next couple of days. So last night I actually let him open an envelope and two small presents, just because it was his first day at a new job today and I didn't want to get up super early with him. And then for him to like be panicking obviously about and be nervous about the job and then have to open the envelope and that. So um, tonight we're going to Miller and Carter. He only knows that him and I are going, so we're going to be catching a train into Cardiff, going to Miller and Carter for some m food, which I'm so excited about, because I've been craving Miller and Carter for so long. Um, but what he doesn't know is that his mum, dad, two sisters and brother is also meeting us. Um, we actually moved out in February, if you didn't know, so he doesn't see them as much as he used to, so I thought it'd be really nice to invite them along with us. So we are meeting them in Cardiff later on today. Um, that's for, at 8 o'clock tonight, so the next time you see me I'll probably be looking a little bit more presentable than this. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it today. I've just booked um, the cinema for tomorrow. Um, so we're going to be going to watch Venom tomorrow. He's wanted to watch it. To be honest, I'm not into films like that at all. But I thought, you know what, it's his birthday, I'm going to go for it anyway, I'll go with him. So I'm to film as much as I can over the next few days, showing you his, just his little presents, um, and everything I've got planned for him. And on Saturday, I've got a big surprise birthday party, so, and i got loads of behind the scenes to do, so I will take you along with me. But without further ado, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below, happy birthday to my boyfriend. Let's try and get... 23 likes on the video because it's his 23rd birthday so thank you all very much i really hope you enjoy the video without further ado let's get into it this is the situation i'm not going to tell you what everything is at the moment but these are just some behind the scene footage So day two of Ryan's birthday surprises, we're actually going to the cinema tonight to watch Venom, which is very newly released. Um, I think I've actually mentioned this, so sorry if I'm repeating myself, I just have a vague memory of it. But, um, so yeah, obviously I can't really film in the cinema, so I'm not going to film tonight. But obviously a Tango Ice Blast is on the cards, and I'm actually being serious today. We have done, my mum and I, well my mum's working throughout the day at home, so I've just been going to her house to sort out decorations next. So obviously if I live with Brian, so I can't do it. And I am so stressed, I have not even gone to the gym tonight because I am so stressed. I just want to get everything sorted. Today's Tuesday, his party's on Saturday. Um, tomorrow I'm going back to my mum's to try and finish up as much as I possibly can. Then on Thursday, the day's pretty much like I can't do anything in regards to the party. Because I've got a driving lesson at 9.30, I've got a hospital appointment at 2. Then I've got an induction for a job at 4 o'clock until 8. So by the time I get home, it'll literally just be eat, sleep. Well, eat, shower, sleep, repeat. Friday then is the last day I've got, but I have got something planned in the evening, which you'll see. So I need to plan, f I need to prep for that as well. As well as trying to get all the food and everything sorted. Then Saturday is his actual party. So, and I've got so many lies going on. I hate lying as well. It's so stressful because I'm trying to keep up with all the lies like... Saturday I said at 9 o'clock I've got a photo shoot so my mum's picking me up which is normal sort of life for us so there's nothing unusual and then we're going out for a meal to celebrate his birthday before we go to London at 3 but I haven't actually got a shoot but I have to make it out like I do so I'm going to have to get up before the before I go to my mum's at 9 to help her decorate the room and everything um, probably at like 7 
to do my hair and my makeup as if I'm going on a shoot, and pack a shoot bag, otherwise that's going to be weird. So, it's just remembering what I've told him and all like the little white lies I'm saying so obviously he doesn't find out what's happening and then remembering to do that as well as everything else that's actually going on. So it's kind of mad and in between all of that I've got to try and dye my eyebrows, paint my nails, have actually like an hour of self care so I actually look decent for the weekend, do my hair and makeup for the actual party whilst finding an outfit and pack for London and make sure I've got everything prepped and packed and got like our COVID passes and everything. I don't know if that's just Welsh or Wales, sorry, that needs to do that, but I need to get it sorted anyway, just in case. I know I've been talking super, super fast for like the past, I don't know, feels like half an hour, but I am stressed out to the max. Like I actually can't concentrate on anything else but the party, that's all I'm thinking about. I'm dreaming about it and that's when you know is on your mind like I just sort of want it to just come around now because I'm excited at the same time but I know I've got so much left to do my mum is being an absolute angel and she's helping out so much I just I think that's stressing me out as well because I actually want to help her more but because it's all at her house it would just be weird if I was like staying at my mum's because I don't stay at my mum's really that often so uh, yeah just trying to act normal when actually in my head I'm freaking out but anyway, um, like I said, I'm not going to film tonight, so I'll probably film a little bit more behind the scenes of decorations tomorrow, and then just throughout the days when we're doing stuff. So, I'll see you soon, guys! So, this is day two, and I've painted both sides of this box, this box, and this box. They are quite big boxes, like, let me just see if I can show you. So I'm about 5'5", five five and this is literally to just above my waist. So they are quite big boxes, and excuse the mess, I'm just getting ready to go to the gym. Um, I think I showed you those in the last clip, but we've got this going on and lots of glitter. We've got these holding down these sticks. I've got this. You'll see what this is for very soon. We've got a roulette game. And I've been using gold glitter and gold spray for something. I got this as a template behind. And this one of the finished item is that there. So that is just a few things. Oh my gosh, my hair is even worse than I thought. <laughs> That's just a few things that we've got. Um, prepared for the party on sun Sunday, Saturday. Prepared for the party on Saturday, but I need need to go and get ready now. Sort this mess out and go to gym. And nothing's really happening tonight. You won't see anything tonight, probably anyway. And um, tomorrow, I've got a really busy day. Um, so nothing's probably going to be happening tomorrow neither. But other than that, I'll just try and film as and when I can. You'll probably be next updated on Friday because it's date night steak night. <laughs> Morning and I am looking so rough because I've been so stressed out and I've just had loads to do and I'm just really really drained and tired today. Um, I think it's also because I haven't really been going, to, I haven't really gone to the gym much over the past two weeks because we've been doing stuff or we've been like too busy so yeah, I just need to get back to the gym and get back in the swing of things. But today is Friday. My boyfriend's birthday is um, birthday party. Sorry, is tomorrow. So I have actually got a surprise for him when he comes home. It's basically sort of like a treasure hunt around the house. He's not going to find a gift or anything, but it's I've got clues which I will show you here. I've already hidden a few. Um, so the clues are going to be hidden around the house and inside is the clue to the next one. And for some of them he's going to have to do a shot as well. So I've just got these ready so I can set them up for after. And basically this last clue is going to be on our bedroom door. And basically I'm filling the bedroom up with balloons. So I filled pretty much the full bed up. I need to fill the rest of the room up now with balloons. But I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded a minute. So I need to get it done by about 3 o'clock. And it's half 11 now. But I've also got to get myself sorted. Finish packing for London. Because we're going there on Sunday. And I need to decorate for after. Because it's steak night. Date night tonight. Um, so 
yeah, I've got a few things I got to do. Um, so I've got some rose petals here that I'm going to put out later. I've also got these really cute sort of flute glasses. They're like heart shaped. I can't actually remember where I got these from. I think I got them from Home Bargains at Bal on Valentine's Day um, at the beginning of the year. I think they were like 50 or 60p each. And I thought they're super cute. Like it just goes really well with like aesthetic, don't it? Um, so I've got a few things I want to put out after. And obviously I need to put some candles on and everything. So... I'm going to film that after, um, but I'll see if I can link any of this stuff below. And then I'll probably film him doing the treasure hunt, and then that'll be it for this vlog then. So I'll show you how I'm going to decorate, and of course I'll show you the bedroom as soon as I'm almost done. I've got so many balloons left though, that I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to do them all by myself. Because it's half 11 now, by the time I have a shower, wash my hair, get everything ready, that gives me less time to blow up the balloons and I'm feeling a bit lightheaded, so I don't want to like overdo it and then like make myself ill. Because um, I've got like chest problems that, that are investigation any that are in investigation anyway, so I don't want to like overdo it and like just make myself ill like I said just repeated myself don't know why but anyway I need to um try and sort this out and make myself look more presentable I've got a spot come but I think that's because yesterday I done um my eyebrow razor and sometimes I get spots after it so just sort of like takes like the top layer sort of like dermo planning but on my eyebrows so yeah um so sometimes i do get a little few spots so i'll probably be gone by tomorrow anyway so i'm gonna do a face mask i gotta paint my nails i got to do my hair i've got to get everything out ready for tomorrow make sure i'm not gonna forget anything and then i gotta try and have an early night tonight so i can get up early and be on it like sonic tomorrow so apologies for the way I look, probably throughout this vlog and every other vlog I'll ever post, but it's just true and it's just me, so you know, we're just going to roll with it I think. So I will see you probably later on today when I've actually started set stuff up. waiting here by something dark that is filled with fear. Really? No, that's light. Orange is a light colour. Oh my gosh, I, you were literally just looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I looking for? Something dark. Yeah. Something that, dark. And scary. That could be related to Halloween. <laughs> Scholar in the end, didn't we? Always on a high halfway up, so so don't be shy. Count it with me: one, two, three, then times by two. That's where I will be. Right. Why is it a shot? <laughs> you have to do a shot for this one too. <laughs> That's only oh six, yeah. What's it say? Your final clue is on the door of a room where we go to snow. In the room you must find the number three, hidden among the things that you see. When you open the door, the time will begin. You have limit one minute to win. Oh, so I have to find number three in the room. Like a, a minute. You have one minute. But when I open the door, it's a mess. One, two, three, go. Kill me. <laughs> Find the number three. What the fuck? <laughs> right, okay, the number three is wrote on one of the balloons. What? <laughs> what kind of marker? Um, black. Right, it's not going to be a black one, is it? <laughs> oh, that's just so stupid. <laughs> How the fuck am I meant to find a number three on these? They're probably fun. Mate. I see it, the number three. <laughs> what are you 
No, don't see fuck all. It's this balloon. <laughs> what? I was just speaking to the camera then. So this is my setup for date night. Just got the fire going on the telly on YouTube. And I've got some candles, the glasses I showed you earlier, and some petals. I think I'm going to do another couple candles and put um, probably the light on this by the telly here. Oh, wait. Here? There we go. Um, just so it's a bit lighter in here. And I just need to make some steak. And I'm going to put some of these on the floor. Nothing major, it's just nicer to have dinner like this because we don't always do it like this so it's just something a little bit different really um so that is pretty much it for this vlog guys um so cue the intro cue, sorry cue the outro so it's the morning of the party and it is a hectic one i've had to pretend i got a photo shoot so i had to get up at about half six this morning do my makeup as you can see straighten my hair um, and get everything ready and we've just been to McDonald's to have a breakfast because we were both starving, my mum and I. Um, we had to fill the cart with balloons, just dropped them off at my dad's. We're going to do everything now this morning and then I will update you when we're at the venue. I have now made sandwiches. I've never actually made like sandwiches like this before. Wait, let me show you properly. As weird as it sounds. I'm not like a sandwich eater and I don't really make sandwiches or anything so I was a bit like, how, like they're not that good to be honest, but after a few drinks people will notice anyway, hopefully. <laughs> um, I'm just popping some popcorn now, I just wondered why is it not popping, but it's only been in like 30 seconds so it's probably why. Got some music on in the background and we are pretty much done, like we're like sort of in front of schedule which is really really good the time is half ten um prior to oh we have to go to the room at 11, 12 it opens so we've got about an hour and a half but prior to that we need to go to my dad's so and get the karaoke machine and um, that's on the way there anyway so it's not a problem when we get there i'm probably not going to film while setting up because we're probably not going to have time um because it's going to be probably a bit stressful just trying to get everything done um, but I'll try and film as much as I can, I promise. And then it will just be a case, pretty much, of going back home, getting changed really, really quickly. That's why my makeup's already done. Um, but I'll probably just touch it up a bit so it hopefully looks a bit better. But I think I'm just going to not look that good today because it's too much of a rush. Then, um, if you can hear that popping, it's the popcorn. <laughs> and then pretty much just get ready to party. I'm actually so excited now. I've been posting in the group chat, probably pissing everyone off, just messaging people going, hey, I'm so excited. So, yeah, and I just realised I said that word, I mean, um, annoying everyone. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, I will see you at the venue in a little bit, guys. guys ever so much for watching the video i really hope you've enjoyed i know it was a bit wishy-washy and all over the place i didn't film um, a few of the activities but i really really hope that you enjoyed the video um i enjoyed filming it and i'm really excited for the next couple of days the next vlog is going to be a lot probably a bit longer and um, filled with a lot more exciting things so make sure to turn the notification bell on so you don't miss that that should be coming up next week. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.